Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here, and I normally do uh, reviews on knives and stuff like that, but every once in a while when I come across like a really cool product or something that I use a lot, and I think, you know, even in modern knives and doing stuff around the house, I try to try to include it in my reviews just to kind of help out guys, you know, and stuff like that. The Dremel tool is one of them. I use it quite a bit, and this is another. This is the uh, DeWalt 18 volt cordless drill, and we're gonna do. Just a really quick video. If you guys saw my uh, Dremel tool review, that's like a three-part, ten minutes a piece kind of video. This will not be like that. This is essentially going to show you the drill. Let me adjust my uh, height here. Show you the drill and uh, kind of give you a quick rundown on it. Just in case you're in the market, you're not really 100% what you want. I use this thing all the freaking time. I didn't think that I would uh, use a cordless drill quite that much, so I bought a corded DeWalt drill, and uh, I'll be doing another video on it also. This is it here, the one you plug into the wall. And um, I saw this on sale. It's one of the Black Friday deal kind of things. It was 99 bucks. It came with a case that I showed you in the beginning, two batteries, and then a charger. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the case is heavy duty, and I do use the case. I know a lot of tools come with cases that you really can't use. The cordless drill case, I think, is definitely one of the ones that excels, and uh, the one they gave with DeWalt anyways, and something that you use, because when you're not using it, you know, you want to protect it and stuff like that. So enough about that. Um, I will show you real quick the case and kind of what we got. I've got random happiness in mind, but you can see here, if I can get the damn cord from the other one out of it. You can see the case here. Um, really thick plastic. It's got good latches here on the bottom. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. But definitely pretty sturdy and uh, decent for a case. The hinge is pretty strong, kind of uh, overlapping there in the back. So you can see that... Uh, you know, over hard use and over time, I think that this will definitely hold up. You know, it's not metal or anything like that, but you don't want to have to carry a big old metal case anyways when you're already carrying a drill and two batteries and a charger. So, back to the drill itself. Um, like I said before, it is an 18-volt drill. You do have 17 torque settings with uh, two speeds adjusted here on the top. And then you have your drill setting. Now, each one of these torque settings is going to stop at that desired torque level now I mean written in a book I don't know what it is but you know at one once you achieve like a, a really small amount of torque it's gonna hit the release on it and just give you that like let's see if I can it. that's what it sounds like when it hits the torque level now you'll watch when I go past two to three I got a little bit more out of it, and so on and so forth, all the way up to 17. That gives you quite a wide range of variety, and honestly, when I first saw it, I'm like, why would I need that many? They do come in handy. I mean, depending on what you're drilling into, you're drilling a screw into a 2x4, you're going to want something, you know, 14, 15, 16, that kind of thing, depending on your desired depth. And uh, when you get into it, you start doing a lot of the same thing, like building a fence or something like that, or building a deck. When you look at it, and you kind of get that depth that you want out of a screw, like if you were screwing a screw into a board and you only wanted to go in halfway, you find that torque 10 really kind of gets you about where you want to go. So you set it at 10 and run with it, and it's going to stop right about there, and that's going to keep you from driving it further in too. So it kind of has a couple of, uh, a couple of values. I wouldn't say it's a, a freaking set torque amount. You know, you could measure it and all that crap, but, you know, it's a cordless drill. It's not going to do all kinds of stuff like that. If that's not too confusing, I hope it's not. Um, the drill set... Um, here indicated by the bit when I turn it to the top um, that's going to keep going and it's going to override that ability for the uh, the cutoff feature on the torque side of the house and if you're drilling something you don't want your drill bit stopping halfway through I have been drilling you know uh, let's say heavy gauge steel and like a pipe or something and I do want it to stop because at that point it's going to break my darn wrist if it catches and spins around you know so I hit it at the 17 okay now I need to bounce that router bit a little bit or something like that to try to get through the rest of it um, in talking in this video, I'm thinking that you're slightly mechanically inclined anyways. Uh, if you're not, get the drill, play with it, get a box of screws, just kind of mess around, you know. Obviously, you're going to op-check it before you use it anyways, so kind of run that route. 
the uh, the power on it is really good. This charge lasts quite a while. I would definitely go for the power and the long term thing of the 18 volt. I would go ahead and suck it up and get the 18 volt uh, set. I think they're going for maybe 199, something like that uh, in the stores. But I would definitely go ahead, spend the extra money, and get the more power. Uh, with the torque settings, you can lower it um, to kind of get the desired effect of one of the smaller hand drills. With that saying, or with that being said, you are going to have extra weight because it is a heavier drill. So you're going to have that little weight feature along with it. I wanted the biggest, baddest I could get kind of thing. I think they do make a 24 volt. That's kind of getting a little insane in my opinion. So for a cordless drill, this is what I needed. And um, you do get, if you buy this particular package, a spare battery. These things are lasting, honestly lasting about four to five hours with really, really heavy use. I would say, you know, using it every 15 minutes or so, you're kind of prepping it, you know, using it constantly. Um, I'd say you probably get a good two hours out of it if you really just use it constantly. Um, the recharge on it is great because with the two batteries, you can be charging one while you're using the other. And uh, that kind of goes without saying. Um, that's definitely a good feature to have too, you know, so you can kind of keep moving with your job. So I usually leave one on the charger while I'm doing something. The uh, charger blinks uh, red when it's charging and then uh, red solid when it's done, I believe, something like that. I can actually plug that in and verify that for you. And I'll bring the camera over to it. Um, yeah, it blinked red solid for the first second and then uh, it starts blinking. I mean, it stayed solid red for the first second. I put it on the drill. And then it started blinking red. So I'll start with the charger plugged into wall. In. And of course, it's not going to freaking do it now. But either way, it was solid for a split second. And then um, probably to verify that it is, in fact, one of their batteries or something. And now it's uh, going to blink, stay solid when it's done. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to leave that one on the charger. Um, the long route back to the camera top. And we'll get back to the drill. It is a chuckless drill, um, this one particular one. I'll give you the model number, uh, DC970. So chuckless meaning that I don't require a chuck key to use it, which is great because uh, who wants to be fumbling around with that nonsense? And they've also done that with their uh, plug in the wall line also. So that's a chuckless plug in the wall drill. That's a stout beast in itself. Um, I would definitely recommend using safety glasses. You only got two eyes. You don't want to waste one of them on something stupid. Use it for something good. You know what I mean? If you're going to lose it, lose it becoming a pirate. That would be awesome. Enough said, right? All right, now you guys, um, be good. This was a really quick overview. Um, actually, before I let you go, there is a uh, reverse feature here, forward, and then... Uh, reverse on that, vice versa, something. There's a uh, neutral in the middle, it locks the trigger. Um, battery detachment, squeezing these two tongs on either side of the battery. You don't have to squeeze it to put it in the charger, you just set it in the charger, just a little cradle charger. You do have a little area here that holds your bits. I found uh, completely worthless and lost the bit that was in it within a couple of hours of owning it. And you have a lanyard here, a lanyard hole that you can hook a loop to, put it on a belt or something, um, Put it on a carabiner, hook it to your belt loop or your belt while you're out working, you know, if you're on a ladder or something like that and you wanted to have it with you. They do make uh, tool belts that have uh, harnesses that you can clip these things into and uh, make them more secure while you're using them. Um, I would definitely uh, recommend checking it out. This is just a quick video. If you were interested in maybe getting one, you weren't really sure about some of the features, you wanted to see it in person, here you go. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.